Welcome back to the Chris scenario playthrough for Remake. Now we're diving down into the caves. And the caves look a lot better than they did in the PS1 game, I'm telling you that. Aye, right they look like shit in the original. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise. A more powerful console produces better graphics. Who <laughs> knew? No, 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 dude, take one look at the caves in the original compared to this. It's like, ugh. Still, <laughs> I'm assuming in the caves were bad by PS1 standards. Yeah. <laughs> well... Back then, everything was all blocky and all that. They, yeah. they could only work. They only worked with what they had. Chris looked like a fucking refrigerator, <laughs> without his sheer size and that terrible voice acting. Uh. We, we got to the root of the problem. Boo. <clears throat> right, be careful when you come back here, though. Yeah, this part will end you a lot of your speed runs if you're not careful on the way back. And I see you're still packing the insurance. Yep. <laughs> Go compare. <laughs> and Chris just shoots him with a knife. You got this that. Is the, this is the real type of insurance. You wasted a bullet on a singer. I, no, no, I loved all the adverts where they were just like beating the shit out of that guy or just blowing him up with a rocket launcher. <laughs> where they were finally fed up him. Like one of them, he's singing the song, and then an old lady blows him up or something, and he's climbing out of the crater. <laughs> so you're not enjoying the ones where he crashes into a tree? Don't come any closer. Is it me, or does if this was um if Resident yeah. Evil was played in the television series, that the actor to best play Enrico would be Jimmy Smith's Bail Organa from Star Wars episodes two and three? Enrico, wait. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Enrico. What, the song by Rihanna? I love that too. Fun fact, uh, you know the Japanese name for the series, Biohazard? Aye. There was actually a band called Biohazard. Oh, <laughs> that's probably why they made they renamed it Resident Evil in here. I don't get that though. Wait, well, how does it get to keep its original name in Japan? Well, maybe their copyright laws aren't as strict over there. Killed them with just one shot, point blank range. Didn't stand a chance, poor bastard. <laughs> So yeah, kill him with just one shot. So like, if he gets him in the head or the heart, then yeah, he's going down. <laughs> he's holding something. Mandatory. In the original game, this was placed in a rather dickish location. Right next to a hunter. <laughs> On your way back, I believe. Fun times. Yeah. And now it's not now it's a hexagon crank. Yeah, you have to examine the left of it. And for a surprise here, whoa! Knock this guy down and just run on by. Remember folks, this is classic Resident Evil, you don't have to kill everything. Efficiency is the name of the game. What if the should have just turned out to be Barry? <laughs> I have this. It's, that would be amazing. The opposite character that doesn't appear in the opposite scenarios is the one that shot Enrico. <laughs> <laughs> so, like no, in but... Joe's case, it would be Rebecca. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're a lot more evil than I thought you were, Becky. <laughs> I've changed a lot, Chris. <laughs> yeah, be very careful here. Two hunters. There's one off-screen a bit further down the way. One time I was doing a practice run and I got a near miss from the insta-kill once. Yeah. <laughs> I ran out of shotgun shells, I backed down to reload, and then the hunter did its insta-kill attack, but it missed me by an, an inch. Inches. Uh, so bad, I flashed before my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you saw a bolt. I think, yeah, you saw a boulder at the end of the walkway there. That's not one of the ones that moves towards you. We're about to see one of those, though. Oh, come on, Chris. You're, you're Chris Redfield. You just punch the boulder away. Uh, he's, he's not been on steroids yet, so he can't do that. I still think that's the most ridiculous moment in all of Resident Evil 5. The boulder's like 10 times his size. And have you guys ever like tripped over and like whacked your hand off of a rock? No. That shit hurts. <laughs> and you're not punching that <laughs> to make it move. I'm telling you that right now. Unless you're Superman. <laughs> Chris must have been really determined to find his panda at that point. <laughs> no, it was just to save Shiva. No, what if the panda was frozen in kryptonite inside the rock? <laughs> <laughs> at all costs but then he has to go to the empire to figure out how do I de or how do I get out of him um, out of uh, the cryogenic phase and all whatever it is wait what carbonite I don't blow up this isn't Star Wars <laughs> well, that's another thing that's an, uh, that's one thing you can do you can combine two green herbs with a blue let's see what horrors await us here oh. for Chris only gets to use this and you only get to really use it down here it was so much more useless in the original game. All right, here's what you need to do here. Unequip all your weapons for faster movement speed. Go up to the boulder, run away from it. <laughs> I love that over dramatic jump he does. It's like, <laughs> Think hey, he's an action star. Uh, wouldn't you do the same thing if you were chased by a boulder? <laughs> yeah, remember, you like, I've only got one chance to do this. I'm gonna take it. Do not use the alternate controls there because it, when the camera changes, you might accidentally go in the wrong direction. 
So use the D-pad for that. Mm. And remember, you have to press left on the D-pad while you're moving forward with the tank controls to go left. It's like you're steering a car when you're using the tank controls. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, big horror waits through this door. I did not find this out until much, much later. This but, is the Black Tiger. Yeah. That, but there's oh, it's a spider. That's what, again, umbrella names. Uh, Don't ask me. This thing doesn't take a lot of damage to kill, but here, let's, let's do it in style, shall we? Don't what? get much use for the flamethrower, so... <laughs> Baron, you little fucker! Flame on, asshole! I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> yeah, if you played the Sheva solo on RE5, when you pick up a flamethrower, Chris says that. You don't actually... I did not find this out until uh, I did a playthrough at Ross's house on a uh, real survival difficulty. You do not need a knife to destroy these webs. You can actually burn it with a flamethrower. Huh. So you don't ever have to pick up a knife there. But then again, the knife, you would save percentage on the flamethrower. Yeah. Yeah, but you only ever get to use the flamethrower in this one spot. And down, well, in this general area. And here's the map of the courtyard. Uh, one of the most annoying trophies in this game. Explore every area on the map. Here's the thing, though. The game does not classify an area as explored unless you've picked up every item in that room. <sighs> so you have to pick up every item and every file in the game in one run. Ugh. How does that factor into exploration? It doesn't. <laughs> It's just them being really like dumb with a like trophy requirement for that. You know, Chris holding the knife there. He's wondering, hmm, maybe next time when I block myself up, I'm gonna get my best self a bigger machete. No, fuck <laughs> it, it's a sword. And fucking right. RE5 that <laughs> knife has. <laughs> Still crazy to see how many different development stages RE5 went through. Where at first it looked like it was gonna be zombies. Then it was just him on his own against like hordes of. No, look at the different enemies. versions of Resident Evil Four. Like, there's one that was supposed to be, like, paranormal and paintings yeah, coming to life, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, Resident Evil meets Silent Hill. And, of course, Resident Evil 1.5. Oh, I where, like, Brian Irons had a completely 180 in terms of character. Yeah. And Claire wasn't even on it, it was Elsa Walker. You do get her, well, I do, you do get her outfit in the remake. Yeah. This boulder piss easy to avoid. Turn the crank three times there. You can't proceed until you use it three times. Just hold forwards there. You're putting a prime spot to just run forwards, so don't worry about going in the wrong direction. Just better use the D-pad. Better hope the boulder doesn't have a face. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just start calling face. it Agent Stone from the end of the Sonic movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, no, no, no. <laughs> no, it's fine, it is. Yeah, it's time recording the Sonic movies. It's actually much better than you, if you would think it, it'd be. Uh, actually, actually good video game movie. Yeah, I would say that's uh, ever since the last one, what was it? I thought it was a good movie. Video game, ba a movie based on a video game was probably the first Mortal Kombat. Until now, it was Sonic. Yeah, have you seen the first Mortal Kombat? Uh, clips and all that, but I've also seen clips of the sequel. Uh, Annihilation is absolute garbage. Uh, anyway, your puzzle for this is that you have to push the statue up to this wall and then use the hexagon crank to push that wall, push the wall out. How would you know to do that? <laughs> you figure it out. <laughs> and, that's what your brain's for. And then afterwards, you push the statue into the little turntable, as I like to call it. I'm trying to remember. Was this puzzle in the original? I think it was, actually. Oh, I know the statue pushing was. I don't know if he had to push it into the, uh, that exact spot in the wall. I think he did, actually. And then you have to turn it around. Oh, if you stand... If you walk onto the middle of it, you will spin around. Like a stage show. This or, is... No. Or like Mario Party 3. <laughs> we <laughs> Only nowhere near as fast. No, it just stands there and it's going, This is Chris Redfield. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> so you just mentioned Mario Party 3 and I'm just like, I remember the island. <laughs> zero coins, zero stars. Good times, eh, Andrew? Fuck you, <coughs> but you're right. <laughs> I'll get you back one day. <laughs> but it is not this day. <laughs> Oh, we want you sleep. Sleep with one eye. Sleep with one eye open tonight, Stevie. <laughs> You'll go on that island again. That will just blow you up again, or so. <laughs> right. That statue you're... isn't. That statue doesn't even look like it's in place, and uh, yeah, it's still open. Mm. Okay, the the item I just picked up there. It's part of a key item you need to combine it with. In order to figure out a combination to a button pad, you'll need to use on an elevator soon. Ooh, combinations. Will you find something secret? Uh, I don't know if it's this room or the next one, but be careful on your way back, because I do believe that a hunter can sometimes spawn in the hallway. 
Oh, well, I think I'll have an easier time because, again, I think it's when when I get to Jill here, this is when I start getting right, acid drones. Well, I get acid drones, which are one shot kills. You can get those as early as the mansion if you meet Barry on the bell on the second floor of the dining room. Aye, but they're, but they're, but they're one shot against likes of hunters or lickers. Make sure you do not meet Barry before you have done the shotgun trap, get a free jail card, because if you see any other cutscene, there it is right there. Is that in hard difficulty? I don't know. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Maybe if it's like, maybe if, it's, if I pick up a certain item or that. Because I don't recall coming across that in my playthroughs. Yeah, again, um, as you can see, folks, when you know what you're doing, even on hard difficulty, this game is not too bad in terms of managing it. Right. Now, is there another difficulty above this, like very hard? Real survival. We brought this up earlier. Uh, all the items I'm putting in here, if I was on real survival, I would have to come back to this one specific item box to pick them up. Oh, for God's sake. Your auto-aim is also disabled. Oh. So, yeah. Anytime you, like, see me aim and I immediately zip and aim in the direction of an enemy, no such thing in real survival. So, uh, make sure you're facing the right direction when a hunter's around. They were, I think, like they said, when it's when you unlock it, it says, like, from the prototype version of Resident Evil. Imagine if you had to play the PS1 version with those rules. Oh, oh God. Sake. Where the hunters were absolutely. Oh, did bullshit. you forget something past Mr. Allen? We'll find out right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, the, the, two, the piece of the key item. Yeah. Mind you, I've had that same problem, like, <laughs> back oh, in the fuck. greenhouse, where, like, I got my shotgun shells, I got my first aid spray, forgot about the fucking book. So you're <laughs> saying you got a shotgun? <laughs> I can imagine the sad trombone going in off in your head. <laughs> I, w I wonder. I, I, I wonder what you're thinking, John. Every time I scroll by the rocket launcher, you're probably thinking, "Use it. <laughs> use it at least once." Part of me wanted to use it at the start, but I say, "Nah, just to tease you." <laughs> just on oh, the first zombie bomb, like, "Nah." That Maybe if this was a speed run, but no. Right. Yeah, you absolutely. That, need that you never run. know. Explosions could be bad. <laughs> the certainly bad. Hey, but remember that again. This is Stephen. He's very. This isn't Gary's mod. No, this is Stephen we're talking about here, Sean. He's trigger happy. No, who's to say that he might trip? He'll accidentally pull the trigger and blow up the entire mansion. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Explosions could be bad. No, I never did that one time at all. Oh, for God's sake! It's called a shaft. What did you? Do you have to me? emphasize it, Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, not my problem. <laughs> my gutter out. <laughs> now, what you would normally do there is examine the key item, and you would, like, twirl it around because the two pieces you... It forms a set of numbers. Yeah, four, two, three, one. That's all you need to know. Oh, I would have loved it if it was just a simple one, two, three, four. Or, like, half the puzzles in Resident Evil 4 where they're just so brain dead. And um, it's hailstones. Yep. And it, um, and it, and it, and it walk up in that layer. Yeah, in case you... Damn you, Andrew. <laughs> I, oh, yeah, it's my fault for Scottish weather. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, might, I think Hurricane Bob Bag wants to have a word with you. <laughs> Honestly, see, they, when you look at these weather reports and you see they, got, they give these storms names, I'm convinced that the weather reporters or whoever's in charge of the weather, data and all that, they have a dartboard with a bunch of names in it and whatever the dart hits, that's going to be the name of the next storm. <laughs> Okay, be oh, careful. Lisa. Be careful alphabetical order for them now. Um, yeah, here's Lisa again. And whichever pathway you go down first, the left or the right one, she'll be down that way. Uh, so, you, are, you want to get her to appear on screen for a bit. Here's the thing, we gotta go key item hunting here in order to proceed onwards. Don't you need the flamethrower here? Uh, no, I, we already put it on the... Ah, oh, because in Jilson now I need the flamethrower here, but it's broken. So apparently Krista used it so much he busted the damn thing. No wait, we're going, no wait, uh, we're going to get a completely different flame floor entirely. Oh yeah, that's the one I'm talking about, the one you have to push the, the box one. in the, the, what you call it, the shipping compartment? Yeah. Go up here for some precious insurance ammo. Not, not on hard mode I believe though. <laughs> that's a hand grenade I believe, and magazine round. Yeah, there'll be ammo for the insurance there on any other difficulty. But, but because you're playing on hard difficulty. Big boys difficulty. <laughs> I'm a big boy now, see? I go pew pew pew. <laughs> no way was I doing real survival for this playthrough because it would have taken forever. Yeah. My backtracking. Aye, right, well, the amount of items you have to transfer between iron boxes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that you're saying the iron boxes isn't you. They're not interconnected on real survival. Also, your auto aim is disabled. Right. Like we mentioned. <laughs> like we mentioned, survival, real survival is realistically annoying mode. <laughs> This is, like, this is how fucked you would be if this really happened. I think, can you stack real survival with one day in your zombie as well? I to think you can. <laughs> That'd be a nightmare. 
but yeah, I'm, just, I'm terrified just thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Chris is just standing there. Yeah. No, I know this. My poor panda. <laughs> it needs me. No, I know when you start off the game, you've got three difficulty options. You've got easy, very easy, and normal. But see, very easy, does it... Does it I man, more healing items I but that. it doesn't reduce the amount of puzzles, solutions, and all that, doesn't nope, it? Those are the same. Okay. Actually, when you first when you start like a fresh file, the difficulty select is really confusing. Actually, it asks you a question, and you have to choose between a set of three answers. And it was only two in the original GameCube version, and I think the top option was normal, while like the middle and bottom in this version are the aye something like the lines like do like mountain climbing or something yeah, like that. Really uh, kind of stupid, actually. It should they should have just had it say like normal, easy, or hard. Right. Ooh, the elevator is broken. I wonder who could have possibly done this. Committed by Panda. You what? Couldn't, it couldn't possibly have been my best buddy with the Shades Wesker. We're best friends for life, don't you know? <laughs> now, uh, by this point, the file I missed earlier in the room with the two deers, the two deer heads, at that point, you would find out that Wesker's been taking orders from Umbrella and has been ordered to cover but, up the but they're mansion. still, But they still act as if they, they don't know why Wesker's still a good guy. Yeah. Yeah, I think by that point is when they like realize that though, because like the well, if they realize that that shouldn't have been a cutscene where you can actually see the right expressions. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Does the file explicitly name Wesker, or does it just say it, just have orders? Orders, me? something like that. Mm -hmm. Orders: uh, two French fries, two pizzas, <laughs> and a ball of pepsi. Uh, happy meal with a Big Mac, please. <laughs> a large chocolate shake. <laughs> oh, this here. doesn't make any sense here. Like, because here's the thing, no. that's crushing anything. No, you realise the panda was in the box. <laughs> oh, shit. Still, something not making sense in Resident Evil? Statement like, of the year. That's a full-on crusher. How is this still in one piece? It says broken, but honestly, it should it should be in more than one piece right now. Yeah. Well, if well, it was in... Pancaked. <laughs> it yeah. pancaked hey, would you rather have that scene where they padded it where you only got one half of the flamethrower and you have to find the second half, put it together, and before you can go ahead? What was that? Advanced difficulty in director's cut splits one of the crests into two pieces? That's a cheap way of that was extending. Stupid. That difficulty is hard enough as it is because there's like rooms with three hunters at I, once. Um, enemy, or fain, en, where, a range mode, enemies are placed a goofier position and the fans are placed a goofier and enemies take longer to kill. It was called uh, Advanced in the EU slash PAL versions, but in the US it's called Arranged. It's also, if you're playing as Chris, it's the most, and then, the most difficult and then, Resident Evil. And the original beginner was like double ammo, weaker enemies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was also a cheat code you could get, I think, if you held like right on the D-pad until the difficulty select changed to green, green, I believe, it, then it would give you double ammo as well. Yeah, it's a good thing. everything. As, you know, as vulnerable as Lisa is, she is really slow. Oh, but believe me, though, she, when she does manage to hit you, she hits like a truck. Like, uh, the, her most dangerous attack, she, like, brings both of her arms up and slams them straight down. I think if Jill has taken any prior damage on hard it's difficulty, death. yeah, can one-shot you. Oh, uh, this is where we get a little bit backstory about Lisa. There are no files to find in that one room I'm in there. But this is all made by her. Just keep running here, snakes. Okay. How could snakes swim? Oh, I think I, <laughs> very easily actually. I think the snakes are able to like uh, move around in the water. I thought it was eels. <laughs> Ugh, fucking can't stand eels, ugly bastards. Yeah, this is where like Lisa. I think you're fine with snakes. The eels are the land. Well, because <laughs> eels are ugly looking than snakes. Jewelry box. Thankfully, we don't have to solve a puzzle to open this one. Booga booga. Ah! <laughs> and there's the metal frame we need for the second the stone ring, stone and metal object. Uh, and this is the Trevor family. Something written on the back. Hey, my birthday! <laughs> yeah, no. This is where you find out that Umbrella were injecting Jessica, who was the mother. Uh, and Lisa and the, the with experiments. With a whole cocktail of shit, and yeah. it was like, wow. And this is after George action terminated. But simply, Umbrella hired George Trevor to design the mansion for him, then fucking left him to die. Aye, uh, but this is now, this has become a journal, so Lisa's still alive. When uh, I... Uh, when like, I got the... Go ahead. Like, Umbrella would send females that look like her mother to interrupt, and then she finds out they were, and she would kill them, and then cover the faces. Yeah, to cover try the faces, like, keep her what? stable. But right. she's well aware that none of them are a real mother. That's why when we see her, she's got faces all mm. over her, and that's the failed people who are supposedly the her mother. The saddest part about that note is that Lisa is writing that while she's in that state. We see yeah. her in. I should, that's what I mean, she's still alive. She's still yeah. mentally... And still fun. somewhere in there. She's, she's, she's gone. <laughs> Completely gone at this point. 
It, it's one of the most unsettling aspects about the game's story. And the, the, the George Trevor subplot was in the original, but not Lisa herself. Ah, uh, because of memory space, I think. Uh -huh. Also, uh, I think Resident Evil 1 also went through quite a bit of development like changes. It was originally going to be two-player. Like, there's a single screenshot you can find of the development of the prototype version of the game there with both Chris and Jill. Anyway, combine those two, and we've got uh, we've got a metal stone and metal objects. We are out of here. Yeah. You're probably wondering, where do we use them? You remember the very beginning of the game? There was, like, two staircases leading around to the back end below the door leading out to the cemetery. We're going back there. I will, but you'll need the stone and metal objects. Yeah, and, both of them. And you're going to need the two medals. Not just yet. You can put those away for now. You only need those for once you get to the... And fountain. past Stephen doesn't listen to present Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I do put those medals back in the next item box when I realize <laughs> okay, I don't need them yet. <laughs> anyway, when you leave, make sure to grab this. Yeah. I think the dog might still be out here as well. But that's it. You no longer need to go back because yeah. the door locks. I think in the original game, there was a hunter there as well <laughs> when you're on your way out again from, towards the caves. And it's like, oh, come on. They're everywhere. As anyway, put, put the stone metal, op metal objects in this door. Yeah, you can examine this at the beginning of the game and you'll hear Lisa moaning from beyond the gate like this. But there's no point going here until you have the two metal stone objects. But this is basically the end part of the wonder game. What, wonder what's on the other side of this door? Death. No. <laughs> no, no. Speak of that, the way you said that kind of reminds me of one of Eggman's PA announcements in colors within when Aquarium Park. Please avoid breaking the glass. That is the only thing between you and ten million gallons of freezing <laughs> wet death. <laughs> if you are not attempting a no save run, save your game here. Seriously, because the next part coming up has a very, very high chance of ending in. Frustrating instant game over. You mean, in other words, disaster. <laughs> in more ways than one. There's so much that can go wrong in this next part. Now, be up. honest here, Stephen. If you were stuck in this situation, you would shit your pants, would you? <laughs> no, yep. Even with your knowledge of how functional and how zombies. things work and all that. <laughs> Shoot zombies in the head. But if you were stuck and you'd be like, what the fuck am I doing? Mommy! Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is the worst part of any run. Yeah, see that abyss there? You can fall into it, and we're gonna find out why. You're a bit of a mess up. Hi, Wesker. Oh, mama! This guy's this. Man, I'm pretty. <laughs> Here's the thing: you have to push all four of these. If you push it from that side, it will go down in one. Uh, no, does Lisa need to be right next to the edge in order for it to make you fall off? Here, if you're too Ooh. close to the edge when she hits you with an attack, you will fall off for instant game over. And it's possible that she can kill Wesker. Yeah, she does that actually. That's oh, tragic. Way. I don't. I yeah, don't know I if, uh, did you hear on your side? No, I didn't, oh. but I, I could tell by the gunshots. He's gone. Like, uh, 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 on, I don't know which headphone picked up, but you can hear Wesker going, Ugh, and then the KT fell off. That always happens every time I do hard mode, mm. Wesker falls off. Is there any reason to try and protect him at this point? <laughs> well, he will distract Lisa. Mm. Anyway, watch his And that's the last of Lisa. You'll find, you'll find a file in the coffin if you get it. Aye, that much too was her mother's skull. Here's the thing about why this area is so... Yeah, again, if she hits you near the edge, you're going off for instant game over. But the thing is, you cannot do, like, loop-de-loops around the thing. The very, like, middle left of the thing is blocked off, so you have to go around the opposite way. Anyway, <laughs> this picture is, is... Is, um... Jessica, was it? Jessica Trevor? No. No, yeah, Jessica. The mother. Aye, this is her last words to Lisa. <laughs> Yeah, and her remains were in that coffin. And Lisa was, as Lisa was writing earlier in her note that we found in a room under the caves, she was desperately trying to get to them. <laughs> I like and she was like banging on the coffin and everything. No, I like how you stopped there like, Wesker? Hmm. Wesker? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Problem solved. Series over. <laughs> right. There'll be no Ouroboros now in RE5. But I have to be extra careful when I get here because if Barry dies here, that's it. That's it, you lose the best ending. Yeah. He's packing the fucking insurance, though. He's done Lisa with every shot. Aye, because... Well, then again, because it's that it staggers her. Right. Anyway, uh, you, need the, the... you need the medals here. Yeah. That medal doesn't look like it's in. Was that a, the wolf or the eagle one? Uh, The wolf one was the... Silver? Great, uh, silver. Gold was the eagle, but... Yeah, the but wolf one goes like, on the west. Like, yeah, eagle goes 
east. And I hate when I'm very clearly right next to the fucking thing and I use an item and it doesn't register. <laughs> but see what I mean? Like it's hanging outside, not in. Yeah. And unfortunately this cutscene is pixelated yeah, as well. quite a few of the FMV. Like we saw this with a waterfall cutscene earlier when I used the crank. Right. What elaborate location for a lab, eh? Hey, it's Spencer. <laughs> right. So yeah, we're almost done, folks. Now we're diving down deep into the horrors of the lab. We'll see you later.